I was attracted to this project because uh, I like to do original works. Um, it was very exciting for me to think about doing a comedy involving women. Um, it's in Paris, which I think is really exciting and great. And it's always really fun to work with an author um, on an original piece. That's probably my favorite and the most fun type of work that I like to have. It's been a really great experience, and it's really different than being and doing live stage work and certainly singing. Um, I s can tell that I approach the lines and the roles the same way that I have approached characters in a musical or um, in a stage play, which is very interesting. Looking always for the arc, looking always for the pulse, looking always for the beat. Um, it's the silence on the set has been the most interesting thing for me to experience. It's, uh, to me, it's akin to working with an orchestra for like maybe the main rehearsal that you have before the show opens. Everyone is so focused and so concentrated and really watching and measuring everything that's going on. And it's just been, it's been a thrill and, uh, it's been really fun to make something real. Diane's amazing, and I was um, very excited to play her. Uh, she's a woman who uh, is going through a lot of changes in her life. Uh, she's a writer, so she's artistic. I can definitely relate relate to that. And as a modern woman going through these really important changes, we have a chance to see a woman struggling with the different roles that she's been required to play. You know, she's struggling with, she's struggling in her marriage. Where's, where's her marriage and what's happening now? What's happening to her body? Um, how is she going to be now as an older mother, as her youngest daughter comes into her own? And a lot of times, uh, issues, those issues aren't always dealt with in a way that can be simultaneously humorous and real. There's not a lot of gloss on her or the other characters, but there's still a lot of humor and a lot of warmth. Um, and Diane's definitely not perfect. You know, she has a you know, very wealthy husband. She's obviously got two very well cared for daughters, but you can see that she's still frazzled. You know, she's still wondering how it's going to work. And you see her grasping, like I think a lot of us do in situations where we're required to, you know, show our power. Um, uh, in a feminine way that's socially accepted and, and still take our place. And she's interesting to play with in that way as well. I think people will really enjoy this film. Um, I think that they'll get a lot out of it. I think that they'll laugh, which is like always a big plus. And I think that they'll have a chance to see um, an independent project that's really has the pulse of what a lot of families are going through without a lot of gloss on it, without a lot of, uh, a lot of Hollywoodization. Is that even a word? Uh, you know, it hasn't, it hasn't gone by this kind of Disney cream puff. It's, you know, it's real, um, and it's tender and, um, uh, it's real and it's funny and it's in Paris. So, you know, certainly for people who like France and who like Paris, it's a, it's a great opportunity to see some, some scenes there as well. So it's, it's light and funny. If, if it's a woman, it can help you relate to your daughters. It can help the daughters relate to each other and whether you're young or pregnant or anything. And I think, you know, most, most men have a relationship with a woman of some kind. So it'll help them hopefully be a little bit more empathetic with all the changes that are going on. So there's actually something for everybody. Mm -hmm.